You have built great cities of stone and seen early empires rise and fall. Soon you will stand under the towering pinnacles of castles alongside your gallant knights. That is where the story of your people will be written. Just as the young apprentice learns to carry a sword, so shall you grow to understand your place in this world. We're back with more Uncut Civilization 6. We are picking up exactly where we left off before, and things are looking pretty interesting. We've got two great merchants to use, and we're going to use them to start things off. So the first one is John Jacob Astor, and he's going to provide us with 250 gold and two envoys. So boom, we get in that money, and we're going to send those envoys to Jerusalem because no matter what happens... We've got to have them on our side forever. So, boom, Jerusalem is back hours. Somebody was pumping envoys into them before. I don't know who it was, but I'm not having that. I'm going to make sure to divert all of my envoys to Jerusalem for the entirety of this game. Uh, next up, we have John Spilsbury. And he is going to give us a motherfucking Toys R Us. No, he's going to uh, he's going to give us toys which are a luxury resource which will provide us with some amenities. We've been la sl or lacking amenities in Riceland for a very long time as well as some of our other cities. So that's going to be good for us. Now, here's what the plan is going to be for today. The plan is going to be to get industrial zones up, start getting our industry so that we can prepare for our second major war and this time we're going to declare it on our own terms, all right? The first time, America did a little preemptive strike, just attacking us for no reason. This time, we're going after Germany when we're good and ready. But there's going to be some interesting issues that we run into with this situation. And, and the, the, the problem that we're going to run into is that Germany and pretty much the rest of the world is significantly ahead of us in the science department. If we take a look at the world rankings while the the turn is loading up i am getting 68 science per turn which is pretty miserable france is getting 296 so she's basically in the future while i'm still fucking around with spears and rocks all right and then germany is you know not too far behind with 285 they're both significantly ahead of me and if we take a look at the the tech tree we can see that they're 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 in the, the industrial era so they're they're going to have access to some very powerful units so if we don't either overwhelm them with numbers or just get some good counters to whatever they're building then we're going to be in some some big trouble but with that said i th i think we can i think we can pull something off if we if we act quickly enough and that, that that's going to be our struggle if we can the popo man the popo they never stop if we if we if we move quickly we'll be able to to make make some decisive pushes and and take over a, a little piece of german land which will give us a, a, a bit of an edge in in the fight or or, or allow us to win but, but yeah I, I, but that that's been making me think about something uh, the, the idea of what what's better in the long run, an early game victory or a late game victory. Uh, and, and that's something that can kind of apply in in all types of strategy games, not just civilization. Is it better to go for a rush or to to, you know, build a nice foundation and then start going to war when, when you're a little bit more stable? In democracy, it's your vote that counts. In feudalism, it's your count that votes. That's very clever. So we have access to some new policies, and I'm going to change up at some point, just not yet, because I still have a few more things that I want to build. I've got, uh, I've got some... We just finished a industrial zone in Rogaldorn, and we're going to upgrade that to a workshop. I could purchase it flat out, but that's... Not ready to do that. I think what I'm going to end up doing is when I have access to the armories, I'm going to purchase those in most of my cities, and then and then we'll we'll go from there. But yeah, the, the, is it better to go for a rush or which is a, a high risk maneuver, right? Because if if you do a rush and you succeed, you're good to go. Like nobody can stop you. But if you do a rush and you fail, then well. You you bet you done fucked up if you do a rush and you fail. 
essentially, because the, 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 there's it's very difficult to come back from a, a a big early game investment like Montezuma, for example. When you play him, you want to build a, a bajillion eagle warriors so you can so you can bash down all the city states around you, maybe take over a civilization or two. Um, but then the, the, you can get out teched pretty quickly doing that, right? If if your opponent is focusing on something else besides military, they they go for more science, and they just out tech your eagle warriors. They start cutting them with these iron swords. What is this witchcraft? No, it's science, right? And then and then you lose. So that that that's something that I'm wondering if I if I made too many mistakes in in my early game. Uh, build layouts and and or build orders, whatever you want to call it. Uh, if my military decisions against America were were poor, all of those things we're gonna feel as we prepare for our next big fight with with Germany, because they're, they're they're it's gonna be a tougher fight because they've they've got more tech, they've got a bigger army. I mean, America is being ridiculous at the moment. They've got one, two, three, four, five, six catapults, but you know. Germany may well have a tank by the time we're ready to fight. So we got to be careful is what I'm saying. We got to be careful. Now, from Fish City, they've got a housing cap of 16. As soon as they reach 12, I will be able to build an industrial zone, although it won't be the most effective industrial zone because there aren't any mines really in the city. So what I'll do in the meantime is I will just build a garden. Why not get some culture going? Uh... And then it looks like Colony can build another facility. I could try for another industrial zone. All right, we're going to build a another industrial zone in Colony. It's going to take seven turns, which is kind of long, but it's gonna, it, it's taking a while because we don't have an industrial zone. So we're, we're going to remove this farm. This is not the most optimal place for it, but I feel like this is going to work out for the better. I, th I think, I don't know, I don't know, uh, look, th th there's a glitch in the matrix, alright, th things are going, things are going alright, but I'm struggling right now, folks, I'm struggling, but, yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm really worried that, that my early game decisions are gonna come back to bite me in the ass, uh, very soon, and, it's, it's making me nervous, man, it's making me pretty nervous, but, I'm gonna power through, and I'm going to see if, if, if we can really do this. Because another thing that's interesting is, is how long will my horses and my spears and my swordsmen be, be powerful? The, the unique swordsmen, they don't necessarily scale into the later, into the later tiers. They might be able to hold their own in the, the medieval era against medieval era units. But the, the horsemen can probably outclass medieval era horsemen if you have enough great generals because of their bonuses so that, that's something interesting to consider and we just finished a industrial zone in riceland so we're gonna boom upgrade it to a workshop and it's a lot of busy work that we have to do right now just kind of moving things along before the before the real projects begin and it's nerve-wracking. Cuz but that that's 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 an interesting thing though. Are the early game civs just not as strong as the late game civs in general, right? It like if if we compare let's let's say let's say Macedonia versus Arabia. Arabia has a, a cool it, let, let's cut out their passives. Let's just look at their units. In an early game war Macedonia will most likely win, but if if Macedonia fights with Arabia, I don't remember the leader's name for for Arabia in this game, but if Macedonia fights with Arabia and Arabia holds their own and you don't get any territory, then Arabia can come back in the mid game with with their unique with their unique horseman that heals at the end of every turn and then completely shit all over you. So, I okay, the conclusion that I have drawn from all of this is that early game civs like Gorgo, uh, uh, 
uh, the Aztecs or whatever. Like all the early game sieves, they do well if you get your rush down and you do it really well. But they, they fall short if you don't succeed very well in your early game push. And I didn't succeed that well in my early game push. And I'm, I'm nervous, all right? But I'm not going to talk about that anymore. Well, that's interesting. France and Japan just declared war on Germany, which means by the time we start attacking them, they might be a little bit softer. So our, our out-of-date units might have an easier time getting through their, their, their super-powerful technology. Fascinating. Very, very fascinating. Now, something that's a bit of a problem is that Rogel Dorn does not have an encampment, which means we're not going to be able to make use of our unique encampment building. So even when we start producing military units here, we're not going to get uh, we're not going to get that special benefit from it. The more science intervenes in warfare, the more will be the need for engineers in the field armies. In the late war, there were never enough sappers at any time. So that's actually something that I messed up on. I, I built a harbor to start things off once I took over Washington. And a, I think he had a campus to start with, but I built a harbor. And I should have built a campus and an encampment because now I'm going to have to wait until the population grows up to 13 before I can build my encampment. So... In the interest of trying to optimize my buildings, I'm going to wait before producing military units until until I have that encampment up and running so I get that that extra benefit. Uh, it, it, it might be it might be a bad decision. It might be a great decision. We'll know when the, when the time comes. All right. I think it's I think it's time to start getting crazy. I think it's time to start getting crazy. Riceland has finished the industrial zone in the workshop. I can build an armory in one turn. I'm going to be able to change my policies over to one that increases production towards military stuff. I think it's time to get crazy. What I'm going to do, purchase an armory. Boom. Got our knowledge of gunpowder gun, gun advanced a little bit. And then... Um, I guess I'll build a garden because that's only going to take one turn. Costa de Iridulz just finished their industrial zone. So I can delete that pin. Start work on a workshop. Ooh, wait a minute. I can, I can build an encampment. Oh, things are about to get crazy, folks. Yes, I would like to build an encampment district here. I'm getting excited now because we may see the true power of Macedonia pretty soon. All of these cities that have encampments and industrial zones, they're going to start churning out military units very quickly. Which means crazy things might start happening. We might all of a sudden go from the caveman times to to the future in just an in, just an instant. We're going to be flying in space. We're going to make three horsemen, then we're going to be in space. That they may well be how this plays out. Um, just taking a look at the great people for, for a moment. Uh, I, think that, I think we're running out of great generals. I don't think there are that many of them left. Uh, but great engineers, that's, I, I always miss out on great engineers because it takes me a while. In, in every game of Civ that I play, it takes me a while to get my industrial zones up and running. And from the looks of things... Hojo Tekamoon is not having that problem because he's getting 11.6 great engineer points per turn. So I don't even think I'm going to bother trying to get anything from that. Uh, great science is also something I, I, I've missed out on considerably. And great writing and music and art as well. Missed out on all of it. Because I, th I think I'm getting one great... Yeah, I'm getting two great writer points per turn. Like, ah, It's disgusting. It's disgusting. I'm going to start getting more faith. That's what I need to do. I need to start getting more faith so I can snipe out some of these guys with faith. How do I do that? I don't know. Maybe I build Mount St. Michael. Looks like I can build it right there. I don't even know what it does. Let's check it out. 
All apostles you create gain the martyr ability in addition to a second ability you choose normally. Must be built on foot planes or marsh. That's pretty cool. I'm going to build Mount St. Michael. Yeah, I'm going to build. I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to build Mount St. Michael. Why not? Why not? That is literally a mountain. <laughs> this game is ridiculous sometimes. Some of these wonders, man. Uh, build a little farm there. And then go to the next turn. So now, as soon as we get Medieval Fairs, this is going to unlock our policy cards so that we can start. Uh, so we can change up our cards. And then it's going to get crazy, man. It's going to get really crazy. And, and hopefully, we'll, we'll see a little bit of a snowball effect in, 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 in our cities and in our science. Come on. Load faster. France is in the modern era? Really? Like, what the fuck? How? I'm over here playing with sticks and horses. This bitch got tanks. What the fuck? All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put on serfdom, which is giving us one science and one production from every mine, and plus two production from every oil well improvement. We don't even know what oil is, so that's that's uh, not important. Next, though, we're going to change up neutral philosophy to the feudal contract, which gives us bonus production for medieval and renaissance era medieval uh, melee and ranged units, and plus two production in each city. Next up, we'll leave on conscription because the amenity from the garrison unit is is keeping us from 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 being very sad in most of our cities. And maritime industries, because we have so many fishing boats, we're we're gonna keep that one on. Now, bastions that's something that I would like to change, possibly towards Gothic architecture, because I am trying to build a wonder at the moment. But I'll lose out on some housing if I do that. I don't know how big of a deal it'll be because I'm getting so I'm getting pl currently I'm getting plus three housing, plus two from medieval walls and plus one from in a city that has any type of walls. But maybe that's overkill. Maybe it's not necessary. So you know what? I'm gonna bite the bullet for now and I'm gonna switch over to Gothic architecture, so that Mount Saint Michael will produce a little bit faster. And with all of those policies combined. I should be able to mount some sort of a comeback. So we're gonna, for now though, we're gonna take a little bit of a break. Yeah, that cut down the time to build this mountain to six turns from nine. So I, I think that's pretty significant. I think it'll be worth it. But for now though, we're gonna take a little break, and when we come back, we will we will finally see whether or not I've I've mounted a comeback, or if I done fucked up and it's impossible to win. Uh, I guess the last thing I'll do is send a trader over to Rogel Dorn. Anyway. As always, the name of the game is Civilization 6. The name of the channel is iBlueAirJGR Gaming for Comedy. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.